Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you the new official Google Slides templates for weekly journals, calendars, and participation charts. As a way to help students and teachers stay organized this year, Google has created fully customizable Google Slides templates for weekly journals, calendars, and participation charts. And I love this so much because I thought it was a tool that could be used across curriculum at any age level. So in today's video, I'm just going to go through the template and show you what it looks like. So the first part of the template is a weekly journal and Google wrote on the title slide, help students and teachers stay organized with a customizable weekly journal, highlight projects, activities, and to do's with fun stickers or call out reminders and important events with colorful labels. And they give you a couple examples. So the first is a weekly journal. And at the end of the slides template, they do have all of these stickers and graphics, all the lettering, everything you see in this is also available at the end and can be customized. So this is just an example of what a journal could look like. They have also included a two-day journal. So if you didn't want to do the entire week and you want it to be more detailed, you could do a daily journal and they provide you with blank slides that you can then customize and if I escape from the presentation mode I can go in and edit any of this it's all customizable so I can edit text I can put in my own images my own fonts and as I mentioned earlier there are a bunch of stickers at the end of this so they have a whole sticker library with all of the text the days of the week everything that you see you can choose from at the end or create your own words with the lettering so if you wanted to use these for yourself, for your students, if you want to create these for your students, you can just select which slides you'd like and then make copies of them or just delete the slides you don't want and then create a copy or post it in your Google Classroom. So the next template is for a calendar. And so Google writes, keep track of holidays, announcements, birthdays, and tests while also showcasing any new units or upcoming projects, each month can be tailored to fit your class needs. And you'll see they've got a full month calendar and I showed you all those stickers so you can put in whatever you'd like on these days. And then the next slide is just a completely empty one. So you can change the month, change the icons and put whatever you wanted in there. And if you did want any of those stickers at the end, you could just go in, copy, then come back to your blank template. You can paste and create your own version of their template. Then I can just insert like a text box and then I can put my own text in there and you can see I'm starting to build my own calendar. And the final template that they have is a participation chart and they write encourage participation, track attendance or recognize active learners in your classroom with this fun participation chart. Use stickers from the sticker sheet at the end of this presentation or create your own. And you'll see the sample that they have just has five different students and you could do this days of the week or you could do it daily with subjects, however you want to set it up. And then what they've done is just use stickers to represent the student's participation. And just like the other templates, they have a blank one for you to design your own. As I showed you earlier, there is a sticker library. And something you might want to consider is creating your own library of stickers. So if there's other things that you want to bring in or, you know, certain bitmojis that you want to add, you can just create a new slide. And let's just pick a bitmoji. So I just copied some of my bitmojis that I like and I just pasted them in here. And then you can have those to quickly reference. So let's just say I wanted to create a template for my students to write in a weekly journal. I'm just gonna go through and delete all the slides that I wouldn't need. And if it was me, I would leave the example slide in so that they can have an example or exemplar to choose from. And having the sticker library in there would also be really helpful to them. And then you could take that and just put it in your Google Classroom, make it so that every student gets their own copy of it, and then each student will have their own weekly journal template. So hopefully these slide templates can help you and your students get 2021 started off a bit more organized. 
As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, you can find a link to the template in the description of this video. Also in the description, you'll find links to other videos and tutorials. If you know of any teachers that might find this video or this template helpful, please feel free to share it with them. And if you haven't already, please take a second to subscribe to the EdTech Show and click on the notification bell so that you get notified every time there's a new video. And if you haven't followed me yet on Twitter, please take a second to follow me at Dan Spada and on Facebook at facebook.com slash the EdTech Show. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.